The Argentine middle class has the most U.S. dollar holdings per person in the world outside of the U.S. It is their way of preserving the savings and protecting themselves from a volatile economy. Joel Richards explains why from Buenos Aires. It's not quite Wall Street, but the Argentine stock exchange is the gauge for the local economy. And once again, alarm bells are ringing. There are analysts who believe that in the global emerging markets, Argentina is unenviably placed in pole position for another crisis. I believe the next three years is a glaciarization of the economy, an ice age for the economy. Argentina, for its serious problems with inflation, exchange and central reserves, could be the flag bearer for the crisis that is expected in the coming three years. How does what happens in there translate to down here for the average Argentine? Past experience of the kind of crisis that analysts believe could be just around the corner mean that people guard against being stung. Hyperinflation in the 1980s, the economic crash of 2001-2002. Argentines who are able to save have long looked north for their reference point and for their savings. Many Argentines maybe aren't buying dollars, but they want to know the exchange rate. It's like a thermometer for the state of the economy. Alejandro Rebocio co-wrote a book about the dollar in Argentina. He explains that outside the United States, Argentina is the number one stockpiler of dollars. There is 1,500 U.S. dollars in cash per Argentine. No other country in the world has more, neither Russia nor China in cash. This is linked to the black market. Those dollars aren't in the bank. They're not declared to tax authorities because there's a lack of confidence in banks. And from when in 2001, they confiscated savings in the so-called Coralita. Governments' unpopular currency exchange restrictions of the past two years may have been eased in recent weeks. But in the current economic climate, those Argentines who are able to save will go with what they trust, and that is the dollar. Joel Richards, CCTV, Buenos Aires.